in the depths of winter, the northeast of Mongolia can be inhospitable until you meet the people. Wow, so here it is. While life here is tough, they are tougher for centuries surviving against the odds. But now it's the modern world threatening to destroy their age-old culture. I'm Steve Chow. On this episode, we discover the world of the Mongolian eagle hunters and those determined to give it a future. We've come to one of the world's least hospitable places in the depths of winter. This is the time to find the practitioners of an ancient, disappearing tradition, the last eagle hunters of Mongolia. To get to the authentic eagle hunters, we have to endure some extreme conditions minus 40 degrees. And we also have to venture to some of the most isolated places on this planet. And we hope this trusty Russian Jeep will do the job. There are no roads, so we stick to the valley floors. It feels like we've landed on another planet. There's little water and no vegetation. We hear of one eagle hunter who's training his son to keep the tradition alive. But there are no phones or internet. We just have to go there and hope he'll talk to us. We're here at last. So this is Bakken, the eagle hunter, huh? Thank you. Bacon. Ah, nice to meet you. <laughs> and Bach 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 His son. Ah, his son. His yeah. younger son? Yeah. Ah. So he's the one, he's learning to be an eagle hunter. Yeah, yeah. Wow. Well, okay. Thank you. Thank you. Birkin lives with three generations of his family, including the newest grandchild. In the evening, they give us the traditional welcome, the Bespamak. Wow, so here it is. I am from the Tustarim. I'm a kid in the Nothing is wasted. Spine, stomach, intestines, organs, it's all here. Everyone shares and eats with their hands to build stronger bonds. That's horse meat? Yeah. yeah. And what's this one here? No, this is horse fat. Yeah, we eat meat a lot because climate here in Mongolia is really hard, cold, dry. And for the next 10 days, meat is pretty much all we eat. Yeah, yeah. Birkin Imyakbai can identify 10 generations of eagle hunters in his family. The golden eagle is at the core of a culture that survived more than a thousand years. It's taken as an eaglet from the nest and raised as their own. A unique bond builds between bird and hunter. <laughs> Birkin 
Eagle eyes are ten times sharper than the human eye. The leather hoods are used to keep them calm. It ensures that they are alert when they're released for the hunts. Birkin has sourced about 40 birds for his fellow eagle hunters over the years. But he says this eagle is one of the best hunters he's had. He's built total trust with her. Eagle hunting was once mostly about getting food and furs for clothing. These days, it's more about maintaining culture. There are probably only about 60 eagle hunters left. Some do it just for the tourists. The fear is that the real hunters could die out within a generation. Birkin prays they can survive. Whether they do might depend on his youngest son, Buck Bergen. It takes five years of training to earn the title Eagle Hunter. 17-year-old Buck Bergen is in the final stages. Now Buck Bergen has to land the eagle on his arm. A rabbit pelt is used to lure the bird. The eagle hunters are Kazakhs. Their culture survived in this remote corner of Mongolia. In neighbouring Kazakhstan, their traditions were lost when Soviet rule forced them into collective farms. Here, they're still nomads, and in spring, they'll take their animals and move to new pastures a hundred kilometres away. It's a hard life, and daily chores, like sourcing water from snow, are a constant struggle. The 
Mekedi yerde oturana geyim salda kandı. Tercihimiz değil, tümünde vaytalmayız. Birkin understands life is changing and knows he may lose his son to city life. Bilim gerek. Hazırım da zamanın talabına sahip. Bak bir gün ben okuyayım. Ben Allah olan batırga çağır mektep keketim. Bir küçü bulmayım dese, ben bak bir gün sen zabıl. Kayıtken günde bir küçü bulasın. Ol okuna ben kilişe gömürünü, onun zavul sen bir küçü bolasın, kaytken günde deyip kıyın balığa. Sen olsun da gene turup erken yolun jalgaysın deyip ben bak bir inge çek salamayım. Soğan aytatın canınız nesem sen orpağına, bizden arka rayana ata babamızdan belgi jalgaysın nesem de balığa kaysa de bir balığa yürüt deyip de erik çaytan. Senizde var manım, sır boyun şarladım. This is what it's all about. The hunt is the culmination of all the hunter's skills and knowledge. They can stay out for weeks and generally work in teams. The eagles are kept hooded and perched on a wooden crutch as they have to be carried for days. We've come in winter, the peak time for hunting, when fox and rabbit furs are thick and food is scarce. Anga çıkka gezdi. Ma ol qızıqtı nəsi var otur. Ötdi. Misal mən avırıb yürgən yerimizdən ötüb getəyəm misal da. Ötə bir quvanışda köngüldə çıxam misal. Soğunu bitkən nəsi mən mutam artında qalğan misal da. Yəni bala çağa nə oldu? Yəni artda qalğan qamalıb qalğan mal mal nə oldu? Anka çıksam, soğunu tülkü görsem, tülkü müne bir kutun çakalaskanı görsem. O sonunda yine oy da bulam. Az kadayma gani eş kanda oy bulmaydı o günü. Ha oradan ciğerimizde mi tıkkı etmemiz adı gani, basma olup çıkamam mı sadı. They get to the top of the hill and the wind is howling. They watch and wait scanning the mountains and the valleys around them for hours. Burkutumuzdan dağdan an çıqa gelgen ge qoyub veretin bu batırımızğa. Ya tomaqasını alıp qoyub veremiz. This is what eagles are born to do. Suddenly a fox is spotted. For a moment, it looks like it's going to get away. But the fox is wounded, and the third eagle gets her prey. <laughs> the dead fox's legs are fed to the eagles as a reward. Later, they will be given the heart and lungs as well. The owner of the eagle that brought down the prey will get the pelt. It will be proudly worn as a symbol of success. In a valley nearby, one of the oldest and most respected hunters is contemplating the future. 75-year-old Kabul Kuk hunted every winter for 50 years. His team was legendary. They would spend entire winters on the hunt. 
In this rare archive, they're tracking a wolf which had been killing livestock. It took a week to bring it down. Kabul Kuk says today's young men lack the passion of their fathers. But some young people are interested and they're challenging thousand-year-old traditions. Women are joining the hunt. A young girl called Aishal Pan is winning fame as the star of a hit documentary, The Eagle Huntress. The film has had an international release, but it's the first time Kabul Kuk has seen it. He says it's not acceptable. But across these mountains, Aishal Pan has inspired others. The town of Tolb is like others in the region. It's conservative and Muslim. Women are usually married by the time they're 18 or 19, raise the kids and look after the home. But it's here we found 14-year-old Akbota. She's the most unlikely candidate to be an eagle hunter. She is small and shy, but she is determined to succeed. Her father, Erkan Baitil Karab, is a respected eagle hunter. He's backing his daughter every step of the way. He's been teaching her for three years. They spend every weekend training. For Akbota, it means freedom, an escape from a future already laid out for most young girls. At first, Akbota struggled even to carry the eagle, which can weigh up to eight kilograms. It took her a year to build up the strength. Now, the bigger test. 
Akbota has to call and land the eagle on her arm. It shows she's developing a relationship with the bird. When an eagle is nearly as big as you, it's not that easy to control. Silk, silk, quarter. Akbota is her father's sole hope to maintain the family's hunting tradition. Her three older brothers were all sent to university in the city and stayed there for work. On weekdays, Akbota goes to the local high school. She wants to be a teacher or a journalist and believes she can keep the eagle hunting as well. Akbota may not realise it, but she's inspiring her classmates. What does she, she want to do uh, when she grows up? Does she think women can do anything that men can do? Steal it. Why? And what does he think about the girls doing hunting? Is it a good thing or a bad thing? What does she want to do when she grows up? Does she want to hunt at all? Yeah, kill it. Akbota, I'm a Russian devs game. I mean, work to run of Jerm Degende. Classical Gavite Grand Southern Gain. Mzam one day was a Jasot, Aga, I shall punk Saran and Atakto along a click this position. Back in the valley where we met our first hunters, they're not bothered by girls hunting. Birkin has a much bigger worry. There's still time enough, Birkin hopes, for his son Buck Birkin to master his hunting skills. They don't always take the eaglets from the nest. Sometimes they trap young adults and tame them. This ancient tradition is under pressure, but young Kazakhs insist it's in good hands. Kazakh <laughs> 